Hey guys, it's Sierra. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a brutally honest review of Boohoo. Boohoo is a really popular online retailer and a lot of you guys have been asking me what my opinion is on them, if I've tried them. So today we're going to find out. As always with my brutally honest reviews, I try my best to take an unbiased look at the company and their clothes. And if I like it, I'll tell you. And if I don't, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Boohoo is a UK company. So their plus sizes start at a UK 14, which in US sizes, is a size 10. So most of what I purchased for this video is from the plus size section. When I was scrolling through the website, like picking out what items I wanted to review in this video, it seems like Boohoo is pretty body positive. They have a lot of variations in like sizing and styles for both standard size and plus sizes. And it seems like they weren't doing any crazy Photoshop. So I'm on board with that. Let's get into the review. So here is what I got from Boohoo. I think in the end I got 12 or 13 items and I divided them into five outfits. The first thing I got is the plus ruched sleeve blazer. I got this in a size 12 and it was $28.96. And then we have the plus Fabienne high rise mom jeans. I got these in a size 14 and they were $20.38. All of these have very long names. <laughs> this is the, hold on, let me get this. Plus mesh two-in-one strappy bodysuit. I got this one in a size 12 and it was $17.16. So let's go put these three items together and see how it all looks. Okay, so here is the first outfit. Overall, I really like the look of everything and I think the quality is pretty good for the price. But let's talk more about each individual item because there definitely are some problems I'm having. So for the Rouge blazer, first impression, I love it. It's a little bit loud because there are shoulder pads and they're moving around a lot. I'm not a big shoulder pads person, so I will definitely cut these out. I think I am gonna keep this blazer because I think it looks and fits really nice. Nice, nicely, whatever. It's a, it's a good blazer. <laughs> but the shoulder pads are just not for me, so I'll cut those out. But overall, I think the look of this is really nice. It's definitely the right size for me. I got this in a 12 and I would say it fits maybe even on the big side of a 12. So I was gonna give this an eight out of 10. I mean, it's not like outstanding quality, but it I think it's it definitely looks and feels pretty nice. And then I want to put my hands in the pockets. Fake pockets, fake news. You guys know how I feel about fake pockets. They're fake, they're just little flaps. So that's, that's a minus point for me. I'm gonna give this a seven out of 10. And then the mom jeans. I have recently become a much bigger fan of like looser fitting mom jeans, which is why I ordered these in a size 14. I'm typically around a 12, but I always like to size up in mom jeans so that I get that looser fitting vibe. And I think the 14 wasn't the right size for me. As you can see, I have like a ton of extra room in the waist and there's a lot of extra fabric in the crotch. But the problem is if I size down to a 12, I would not have that fitting relaxed fit on the legs or the butt. The butt and the legs fit me exactly the way I want mom jeans to fit me right now. It's just the crotch and the waist. So I think the main thing is that these jeans aren't meant for someone with my proportions and my body structure. I think these jeans would be great on someone with more of a pear shape, you know, smaller legs and a bigger midsection. But on me, on my body, it's just not gonna work no matter what size I get. So for me personally, I'm gonna give them a four out of 10, but I think they could easily be like an eight out of 10 on someone with the right proportions. And then we have, I'll take the jacket off. We have the bodysuit. <laughs> I really love the look of this bodysuit. I think it looks great. It is like kind of sheer and mesh, but then has the built-in tank top so that it's not just like completely sheer. Like, I think this looks so cute, especially with the high-waisted jeans. It cuts off like right where the mesh starts, which makes for a really cute look. But with all those little like straps and details, it was kind of confusing to get on and like figure out which hole my arms went into. And it also had a surprisingly short crotch. So I'm about five, four, five, five, technically five, four and three quarters. And I wear like a 12 or a large, extra large. So I don't really usually have a problem with like having a long torso. But I think for the first time in my life, I related to some tall girl problems because the crotch on this bodysuit is so short. Like I had to pull it and stretch it to get those snaps to close, which is a problem I've never had. If anything, usually the crotch is too long for me. So uh, if you're a petite girl, if you're small, definitely recommend this. If you're on the taller side, this bodysuit, it's not gonna work. So for me, it's an eight out of 10, a solid B minus bodysuit. 
I think it looks cute. It is mm, average quality, maybe on par with like an old navy, maybe like it's like slightly above H&M level. And the fit is pretty great for me. I like the look. So all in all, I think there were definitely some things that worked about this outfit. And then we have this romper. This is the Plus Floral Hem Wrap Play Suit. I think I got that right. I got this one in a size 14 and it was $22.52. And with that, I wanted to do at least one little accessory since it's just a romper. So this is the ribbon trim floppy hat and it was $11.80. So hat, romper, let's see it. So here is my second outfit. Let's start with the romper because I really love the look of this. I think it's so flattering. It's definitely the right size for me. The fit is nice. We've got that tie waist that I always love. The wrap style at the chest has plenty of room. Super flattering. I love the little ruffles that taper up. Just everything about the look of this romper I feel like is adorable. But unfortunately there are some things about I guess like the fabric, the material, the quality of this romper that aren't great. So first of all, it is very very see-through. It's not reading as much on camera as it is in real life, but you can really see like my underwear, my bra. I would definitely need to wear something underneath this, which would be difficult because it's a very short, sheer romper. But I'm tempted to do that because the look of this romper is so cute and it was so inexpensive. But I'm starting to notice another problem now that I've been standing in this for a while. It really rides up in the crotch, which is not super comfortable. So that combined with like the sheer fabric of the romper just makes the quality not great for me. So I don't know, I'm undecided on this because I'm looking at myself in the camera and I love the look of this, especially with the hat. Like it's very going wine tasting. So I think it could be cute, but I think, you know what? I think there's just too much that needs to be fixed with this romper. So I'm probably going to return it. That being said though, I'm going to give it a seven out of 10 because regardless of those problems, it is adorable. And then the hat, it is a fine hat. Nothing great with it. Nothing wrong with it. I think I'm going to give it an eight out of 10. I'll definitely keep this and wear it. I've been wanting to get a black floppy hat anyways, but there's not anything like stand out about it. So I feel like eight out of 10 is kind of like my default for something that's good, but not great. Before we get into the third outfit from Boohoo, let's take a little sponsor break. I am so excited to be partnering with Ebates again on this video. I have saved so much money using Ebates, especially with all of the online shopping and ordering that I do for my channel and for reviews like this, Ebates is a must for me. Ebates is the largest cashback site, which partners with over 2,500 of the biggest name brands like Macy's, Sephora, Urban Outfitters, American Eagle, pretty much everywhere that I online shop, I earn cash back with Ebates. So they bring you cash back, promo codes, and coupons all completely for free. You just click through links found on Ebates and then you shop on the store's website like you normally would. I've been using Ebates myself for like six months now and I honestly can't recommend it enough. You literally just get money back for the shopping that you were already gonna do. Even ordering for this review, I was able to get 3% cash back from Boohoo using Ebates just by clicking a button. So if you're an online shopping fanatic like me, give Ebates a try and you will get a $10 welcome bonus when you join for free with that link in my description box and make your first purchase of $25 or more. Ebates and I also partnered up to do a giveaway for you guys. So Ebates is co-sponsoring a $250 giveaway with me. So make sure you sign up for Ebates using the first link in my description and then enter the $250 giveaway with the second link in my description. So getting back into it, outfit number three, we're starting it out with these high-rise denim shorts. These are called the Plus Acid Wash Rip detail shorts. I got these in a size 14 and they were $25.74. Then we have this mesh kimono. I got this in a medium large. So this is one of the only things I got from the standard size section and it was $13.94. And then under that we have the plus plunge neck double layer bodysuit. I got this in a size 12 and it was $13.94. So bodysuit, shorts, kimono. This is a very Sierra outfit so I'm excited to see it come together. So the 
weird thing that keeps repeating itself with these Boohoo outfits is I love the look of it, but then when you get past just like that first impression glance, there starts to be more problems that pop up. So starting with the shorts, I think they look so cute. Like the color, the acid wash, the distressing, even the high waistedness, like it all looks great, but they run really small. I would say the waist fits me perfectly and then the thighs are way too small and way too tight. So it kind of fits the way I feel like those mom jeans would have fit in like a 12 where then the waist is good, but now the thighs are too tight, but these are a 14. So it's not even just like the proportions, it's also just like a sizing disparity between these and their other denim. And it doesn't help that this denim material has no give, no stretch at all. So I really do feel like I'm just kind of like squeezing out of the thighs. And again, they look okay, but they just don't feel comfortable because of that. But the fit in the waist is like perfect. So with that said, I'm gonna give these a six out of 10 for me. I think the look is so cute and they feel really comfortable in the waist, but I just can't get past those tight, tight thighs. And then the bodysuit, again, looks great. Love the look. And the material actually feels really nice and high quality. I feel like this is a perfect, just like basic black bodysuit to layer with. The only weird thing is the crotch is so short. Like I really had to like pull the fabric to button it. And that is not something I usually struggle with. It was fine for me because like I said, I'm not that tall, but for someone, for a woman who's anything taller than 5'5", five five, you wouldn't be able to button this. So I'm going to keep this bodysuit and I'll give it an eight out of 10. I feel like it's pretty good. And then the kimono, I love. I, I know it's so simple, it's just a mesh black kimono, but something about the way it looks layered over the rest of this outfit, it's just very, very cute. I like it a lot. It hangs really nicely, it looks great with layering, so even though it's so simple and basic, I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. For outfit number four, I got the plus tapered paper bag waist trousers. These are in a size 14 and they were $23.60. The top that I got for those pants, cute little white crop top, uh, has another very long name. This is the plus rib ruffle edged ruched crop top in a size 14 and it was $13.94. I think this is gonna be a cute little outfit, so let's see it. Okay, outfit number four. I've got mixed feelings about this one. So I love the colors, I love the look, I love the idea of both the top and the bottom, but they just like, just barely missed the mark. So let's talk about, let's talk about the top first because I think this is where I'm having the most issues. So good thing about the top, it forces me to have great posture and keep my shoulders back because if I don't, the front, the off the shoulder part isn't tight enough and it just starts to like bag and gather and doesn't look as cute. So. Perfect posture, shoulders back. <laughs> so I love anything with ruching down the middle like this. I feel like it is so flattering and just a really cute style. And I do love that aspect of this top, but other than that, there's not really anything much else that I like. The material is see-through and way too thin. You can see my bra through it, so I need to wear an undershirt, but because it's off the shoulder, it would have to be just like a bandeau, which would be kind of difficult. And then, like I said, it's just way too loose. I guess I could have sized to a 12. I think I got this in a 14, but I was just nervous about it being too tight and it definitely does have enough room down here where it wouldn't be too tight. So I think if I sized down, it would be better, but I just still don't think this is perfect for me. I'm probably gonna return it. So I'm gonna give it a four out of 10. And then the pants, these are honestly the perfect size. I have enough room in the legs and the waist. The only problem is they are too long, so I'd have to get them hemmed, but that's not a big deal. That happens to me all the time. <laughs> it also seems like there's some extra fabric in the crotch as well. If I wanted it to fit perfectly, I'd have to pull it up to like here, and then that's a little much. And the material is pretty thin and it's it's not see-through, it just, it's not thick enough. So you can see like the outlines of the pockets here. And even though you don't see my underwear through the back, I don't think they would be like very durable or like sweat proof or anything. I love the high waist. I love the color. I think these pants have the potential to be really cute and they look fine like on camera from far away, but there are just a lot of details that make them far from perfect. I have a pair of pants like these from Express that I absolutely love. And I feel like the Express pants, even though they are, you know, $10 more, I think. Definitely worth the extra money because they are not see-through, they don't show the pockets, and they just have a better fit altogether. So with these pants, I'm gonna give them a six out of 10. Really cute idea, but just not perfect at least for my body. So the last item, the last outfit, number five, this is the plus swing dress. I got this one in a size 14 and it was $17.16. And then I got these little earrings. These are the pale turquoise resin hoop earrings. I thought it'd be fun to try a little accessory from Boohoo. So these were $6.44. Okay. 
Okay, so the swing dress, the last thing, I'm not a fan. This is the first thing that immediately I was like, I don't like this at all. First thing, I got this in a 14 and I shouldn't have sized up. I was worried about it not being like shapeless and shift dress -y enough and I definitely overcompensated. Or maybe it's not even the sizing. Maybe it's just like the fit and the structure of this dress because I'm used to swing dresses being loose, but this looks like a pajama shirt or like a tent just hanging off my body. It's just not great for me. It's just not a keeper. There's nothing this dress is doing for me. So I'm gonna give it a four out of 10. And then the earrings, the little turquoise dangly earrings, I I actually really love these. I wanna try more accessories from Boohoo. I feel like both these earrings and the hat were great and relatively inexpensive for decent quality. So I think these earrings are great, definitely a keeper. I'll give them a nine out of 10. For earrings, they're great. Okay, so now that I've tried five full outfits from Boohoo, what's the final verdict? Is it worth it? Should you order? So the quality of these clothes, I would say is pretty average. They're nothing special, but they're definitely not like fraying. There's nothing like coming apart at the seams. I think these items are pretty on par with, let's say Target quality, like slightly above H&M and like Forever 21 style. I think they'll definitely last a while and they don't seem like they'll come apart at the first wash or anything, but we shall see. I'd say the sizing was pretty accurate for the most part. You can definitely go with your typical size. The denim was the only thing that was kind of iffy on the sizing, especially because it wasn't just like, oh, denim runs small. It was like, well, some denim runs big and some runs small. So then like ordering online, I feel like it's, it's so difficult to guess the right size already. And then adding the sizing disparity in, I probably won't be ordering any more bottoms from Boohoo. And I would say the fit of all of these clothes was great for my body type and my body structure and my size, except again for the denim. <laughs> so will I order again? Would I order from Boohoo again? I will, but for tops, not for bottoms, not for denim. I think all the tops fit me really well for the price. I think the quality was great. I think they make a lot of cute styles that fit my personal aesthetic, but the jeans and the bottoms too, even just like the pink bottoms were just really difficult to get right. So tops, yes, bottoms, no. And I'm also interested to try more of their accessories. I feel like the earrings were great. The that was great. I think they have a lot to offer. And I just really like that they have a huge plus size section and standard sizes. I feel like sometimes it's hard to come by brands that focus equally on both. And I think that's really great. So, so of everything I got from Boohoo, this is what I'm gonna be keeping. Everything else I'm returning. The black wide rimmed hat, the white mesh bodysuit, the tan blazer, just gotta cut out those shoulder pads, the black bodysuit, and the black mesh kimono. But let me know what you guys think. What do you think of the clothes that I tried. And also if you've tried Boohoo before, what was your personal experience? I would love to hear, leave that down in the comments. And don't forget to sign up for Ebates by clicking the first link in my description and enter that giveaway by clicking the second link in the description. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys very soon with another new video. Bye.